What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Retro Ball Anti Trading Cut. We currently have no injuries, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say this now this will be the last season of this series before it restarts because I am transferring everything from computer to phone, so the videos will be a better quality. So it will restart. This one didn't really get started to start with. I don't think we've won a Retro Bowl. We haven't. Maybe we can end it with one. But anyways, we got our first division game here against New York Giants, who are actually ranked first in our division. And we have the same record as them, because there's only been one game. And Dallas tied their first game. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop in and see what the Giants have in store for us at uh, Washington and we're gonna actually force a punt which was something we didn't do much last season we were not that great defensively last season and we weren't that great offensively last season I mean we were decent in both areas like we got maybe a stop every one in four games like, and by stop, I mean punt or interception, fumble, something like that. Not like forcing a field goal. A stop, in my opinion, is no points on the board. Which we didn't do that all too often. But now we have an upgrade at wide receiver and an upgrade at DB. And other than that, I don't think the team changed all that much. We got a rookie receiver and a rookie DB. And I think I signed a DB in free agency, if I believe I'm correct. I don't know. I think that's right. But either way, we still don't have a running back. So we're very one-sided when it comes to abilities to move the ball offensively. We are very much limited to throwing the football with maybe a few runs every once in a while majority of them being scrambles by the quarterback like in this situation if I can get to the outside because my quarterback is actually faster than my running back um, no surprise there but uh I mean, the running back is still useful. Like, in a situation here where he's wide open, we're this close to the end zone. I don't have to worry about him dropping or fumbling or not being fast enough to get there because it's right there. He's going to catch the ball in the end zone, wide open. So, that's nothing i got to worry about. But, uh, on the bright side, we do get ball at half as uh, the Giants got that score quick and in a hurry. But uh, I'd say we're probably going to score a touchdown here and we get ball at half. So I say we're in a good situation when it comes to a lead. I liked the running back there. I just didn't like it enough. I threw it too short. Okay, that was on me. As he's running an in, he's running a post, he's running a fade. Not 100% sure where I'm going to go with the football here. I think I'm going to throw it behind him, turn that uh, post into, not post, the in into a curl kind of situation. Because I might do the same thing for Sharif. Did Sharif do it last time? I don't know. But uh, he's going to get it this time. And he's going to make a man miss. And then he can't quite get around the second round of defenders. But, uh, see, I like Kelly on the streak, but he's going to pull three, it looks like. So the in is probably the best route, and that's the rookie, I believe. Shelvin. Uh, I... Mm, don't actually think I've looked at his name until now. Shelvin is a weird name. Everyone's pretty much on a streak 
except for Shelvin, and he's on a curl. I like that. I actually like that situation a lot because if Shelvin was faster and more agile, that's actually a play where if he can get around the two defenders that were on him, get to the middle of the field, he can practically get past the whole team with a single move. As I don't know who that is, but they're getting the ball. It's Sharif. Good old faithful there. I say that just because he's been on the team for since it started, I think. Yeah, he was a rookie first season. As Kelly's going to get this one. And I'm actually going to go down to drain more time. I probably could have stayed longer, to be honest. But, uh... I'm going to let him push him in. I don't know if that was smart, but it worked. And now there's 18 seconds left. I don't think they can score in 18 seconds. If they do, they deserve it because 18 seconds to go the full length of the field is quite an achievement. Let's see if they can. Huge throw. We actually missed the tackle, but didn't have enough speed on the Giants offense there. I don't know. I think if that was a better team, maybe they have gotten it. But, well, I can't really say that because it's max difficulty. All teams play the same, so I don't know. I think maybe we got lucky. As I think that's Shelvin. Nope, that's Sharif. I just, I just see the A, or the S, I mean. C, S, S, and K. It's, it's very hard. It's S, K, S. That's my roster down. If you look at the last initials, that's, that's where it goes. It goes S, K, S. If you look at it on the field, see Sharif, Kelly, Shelvin. I don't know why I pointed that out. It didn't really change anything about anything, but Sharif gonna get this one. And I knew it was Sharif because I pointed out his name just before I threw the play. Look at me, I'm talented. I remembered a name for two seconds after the play was called. I like Sharif, but they're stacked to that side of the field and Kelly's gonna bring every defender on the field over that way. As Shelvin, if this corner plays shallow, I'm going to be in trouble. This linebacker's probably going to shade over. No, he's not. He's actually going to follow the running back, which is going to run the defender directly at Shelvin. And Shelvin's going to break a tackle. Okay. And he can make this whole group miss. And he does. And 28-yard play by Shelvin. Nice. I went silent because I tried to focus to time up the dodge perfectly, but... uh. Or the jig perfectly. It's practically the same thing. Uh, that's Shelvin again. No, that's Sharif. Dang it, I keep getting them wrong. I thought that was a B, that was an A. Apparently I'm dyslexic as well as not that fast at reading. <laughs> but uh, we're up 21-7. So we're up by 14 here. And the Giants are not going to score. Okay, I like Shelvin's right here. I'm going to say that. It's going to go inside. He's blitzing. He's blitzing. And if he's not, he's shading over here, which will shade down. Uh, he's probably going to back up. He's going to go forward. Eh, well, I got it right. It's just I got him backwards. And Shelvin's going to get the shot. And a 24-yard pickup by Shelvin as he is having a game in his second career start. NFL career start, I should say, because he did play college. And high school, so. As Sharif's going to pick up 11. 
Nice. Also, I went inside because I didn't want to touch the sideline. For anyone that's going to say I could get more yards if I went to the sideline. Which, no one really complains with my gameplay, which is surprising to me because I do everything backwards, I feel like. Like, in my brain, the best decision is the worst decision. I can't speak English either because I can't say decision. I can there. Uh... Actually, I think Kyo's going to get this. Not a name I call often because he's not good. He's like 34 years old. And barely ever touches the ball. Because he's old, slow, and only getting worse. And because I gave him the ball too many times last season. And he was a main factor in the reason we lost quite a few games. But back-to-back -to -back touches by Kyo... Not, oh, jeez. Cow? I don't know how you say his name. Screw it. I don't care. I'm going to call him K. By K? Uh. But, yeah. Back to back, really good touches by K. As it looks like the Giants are moving pretty well. Yeah. I could see that one. And 30 seconds left, it's over. I would say I'd run the football, but that's almost going to guarantee loss of yardage on all four plays or three plays because I will punt because that just forces worse uh, field position unless if there's like, I don't know, three seconds left and I can waste the rest of it with a run. Uh, but I actually like Shelvin here. Shelvin's got better speed than Sharif, which you can see here because... Uh, he outran Sharif, but game over. Shelvin got the final uh, catch of the game. And it's very fitting because he carried this game, it felt like. But uh, Philadelphia also won as Dallas won their first game of the season. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, move on. So far, undefeated. It's only two games, but still undefeated. As Milano had a Milano had a great game. I said Milano. Uh, let's see here. Tackling's good. It could, it, well, I was going to say it could be better, but, you know, that's kind of obvious. I'd say strength is good. He's not a big force fumble guy anyways. Speed is great for D lineman. Uh, stamina is decent, but honestly, I think I'm going strength because if he can force more fumbles, it would make his game ten times better, even if he does only do it like once every four games. And then we got a big game next week against Buffalo. That's going to be a hard one to win. Yeah, I did pick up one in free agency forgot to attack him for Hall of Fame. Yeah, but he's pretty good, actually. But anyways, that'll do it for this one. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell so you know when and what I upload. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.